publicly accessible document, I, I, and, 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 it, and it just works. I don't wish you guys were like me, but when I give workshops and you get the feedback and the evaluations, even if I have 20, okay, let's say I have 30 people in my, in, in my workshop, I get 29 five on fives. <laughs> And I get, get stuck on, on the one yes. on five. You know, that one yeah. person, like, that, that one, one person <laughs> that, that, that didn't like the workshop, and and the guy said everything you showed, everything that you showed us, it was on on how to create eBooks with iBooks author. You need a Mac. We don't have Mac. We don't have money to to get yeah. Mac computers, so uh, it was worthless. And um, it hurt me. Yeah. Uh, because the workshop was awesome, <laughs> but he was right. It did, did not. It yeah. did not. Um, it, it was not. Um, how can I say? Accessible to everyone. To everyone. Yeah. Because there are schools that don't have Macs and that can't even have Macs even if they wanted to, right? And, and so he was. So and I thought about that afterwards, and I've always, since, ever since, I've always tried to uh, to present a technology that worked on all platforms. Yeah. That, that was easily accessible. If not, if I'm very specific, then I mention it in the description. Yeah, this is like for this people is for who have a Mac. Yeah, yeah, this is for yeah. people that have iPads, and this is what we're I think we're past. Yeah. We, we're, we moved past the magic show. Like I think when we first, I know for myself when I first started this, I wanted to show some really cool too. That was yeah. all this amazing stuff, yeah. but I found it just wasn't being used. Yeah. It's better to show the plain, you know. Yeah. I don't want to say boring, but you know, straightforward tools, and those yeah, are a lot better. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's like they don't need us because all three of us we're technology consultants. Yeah. They don't yeah. need us to come in and show them how they can use the whiteboard to teach math, yeah. or how they can use yeah. like they can figure out how how to teach yeah. it in their subjects. Mm -hmm. But what they may need from us is how can I design my classroom in such a way that using the whiteboard becomes more natural, yeah. Yeah. or you know, yeah. or, so that yeah. my students are using it more than yeah. me. What you're saying is how to integrate technology. <laughs> Uh, in a more transparent way. That's right. So that it doesn't get in the way of the learning and that the focus can be made. Did you have internet? Yes. We didn't have internet, right? Yeah. We didn't freak out. Yeah. Well, I maybe did a little bit. <laughs> but, I, but I didn't do it in front of I didn't exactly. do it. Exactly. Yeah. I think we, yeah. Uh, I think we handled it well. well. We said, you know what? This was our plan, but it's all good. And I yeah. think that we switched over uh, at one point. We ended up using a Word document instead of yeah. taking cloud based notes. But it's our day. Great. It's interesting. All our documents, everything we did were all public documents. The answer garden was public. Yeah. We used Bitly's also. Yeah. We used QR codes because we wanted to make things as accessible as yeah. possible. Like, yeah. we never, That's we right. didn't s spend any part of our day that day. Um, teaching people how to take notes yeah. in the cloud, yeah. how to use, yeah. how to go on to the YouTube playlist yeah. to choose their yeah. videos, or how to add videos to a playlist. We didn't teach any of that but, stuff. But, it was just being done. But once again, we made sure that they were using a variety of different, of different right. technologies. And just like in a classroom, there might be an expert at the table who's great with Google Docs, right? Yeah. We kind of model that. Yeah. You guys figured it out. The one yeah. of you's probably comfortable doing that. That's great. And you'll show yeah. each other. And sometimes people got excited about a tool we showed. Yeah. And then we talked about yeah. it rather yeah. than just talking yeah. about tools. Yeah. I mean, anyone yeah. had. Like the Answer Garden. I mean, I don't think anyone knew about Answer Garden. Yeah. But, uh, and also the choice of technology is interesting because we shouldn't, always be using technology that has a too uh, too much of a steep learning curve yeah because we want the, the focus to That's remain right. on, on technology so a tool like answer Carden, i think was perfect because we didn't have much to tell them about it except it just use go, it. go to this, this is, website this is what you have to do yeah. go, to, go to this address and type in your answer Part of yes. our discussions. I was having as technology consultants we needed to bring technology to the workshop but we didn't want to make it the focus yeah so what we did is we blended it in to the way that they were working that day yeah. they were taking notes as they were talking we said one person at the table we don't care who you can use your notes there take notes as you guys are discussing and we kept bringing that back at different parts of the workshop remember for the ed camp they took a look we projected the notes on the screen on, on the walls actually yeah, yeah. and that helped stimulate the conversation so we were using technology implicitly yeah, it's yeah. not the That's focus it. I always use my soup analogy because you know I love food but <laughs> <laughs> it's about soup right like sometimes you have a vegetable soup you just blend it all in there, right? Like you don't have those big carrot chunks anymore. It's just all in the soup and it tastes good. And I think that's kind of what we're, we're doing with right. the technology is we're just kind of just blending it in there. It's part of the day. It's not the